let's build a multi-unit rental lot in every single world in The Sims 4. This is part 11 and we're building a magical boarding school in Glimmerbrook and we're going to be using the new Crystal Creation stuff pack. And thank you to the EA Critter Network for providing me with this early access code so I could check out the pack. Here we are in the worlds of Glimmerbrook. This is the world that comes with the Realm of Magic game pack. And today we're going to be building on the Rock Ridge Canyon Reno lot. So many of you guys have been requesting that I make some sort of magical school, like a spellcaster school or like a wizard boarding school. And it seems like a lot of you guys want it to be like castle themed as well. And the castle estate kit was just released. And now the crystal creation stuff pack just came out. So I thought this would be the perfect time to tackle that idea. But please do let me know down below what world we should tackle next and what type of multi-unit rental lot we should do. And if you're new, I'll link the entire series playlist down below so you can catch up on all other 10 episodes thus far. The new Crystal Creation Stuff Pack is out right now for you to purchase on PC and console. And if after watching this video, you do decide that the Crystal Creations Pack might be something you're interested in, please do consider using code Dr. Ashley at checkout to directly support my channel. And with that being said, let's get started on our magical board boarding school featuring the crystal creation stuff pack. Okay, this is really random, but the inspo for today was actually found on Lego Pinterest. Like usually I will try and find real houses and real photographs as my inspo, but for some reason my Pinterest just kept suggesting Lego pictures, which if you think about it, it does maybe kind of make sense because Legos do kind of operate on like a grid system similar to The Sims. So who knows, maybe if this build turns out good, I'm going to be using Lego for my inspo a lot more going forward. <laughs> Okay, so here is our basic structure for the castle. It's completely symmetrical, so it's pretty simple. I made sure to include a lot of bump out, so there's a lot of dimension. Just being mindful that there's no areas that are completely flat and uninteresting looking. Now for the roofing, I'm going in with our basic hipped roof piece on this front section and raising it to the highest point as possible. I want it to look very dramatic and even kind of whimsical. I'm also going in with some gabled roof pieces on these taller sections. And let's bring in all of the eaves on these roof pieces. It looks too residential house-like with just one piece like that. So I'm going to duplicate it and also place down a perpendicular piece. See, that's kind of better. I, I think that's better. I'm pretty sure that's better. <laughs> adding another gabled roof piece horizontally across this section. And then for this middle tower, we're gonna do something similar to our Windenburg condo last week. I'll draw a square room and then make it medium wall height Then grab this half hipped roof and line it around the edges here. Make sure it's super skinny like that and then pull it all the way to the top. <laughs> Then just duplicate this piece all around the entire room. Let's go in with this silver Realm of Magic fence detail at the top here. And I know you're probably thinking like, whoa, ew, Ash, there's a lot of extra wall showing. And don't worry, we're gonna find a big chonky trim to cover that up. Let's try and use this black one from the Castle Estate Kit and voila, the issue is fixed. Let's paint our entire roof with this black base game scalloped roof swatch. And let's also just put this Castle Estate trim literally all over the build. I think these small details are really what's going to make the difference here. Now just adding this front awning piece with a gabled roof and pressing the shift C button to expose more bubbles so we can manipulate this roof a little bit more accurately. Let's go in with this scalloped roof trim from the four rent expansion pack. I like the additional detail it provides. And here is where it all starts to come together. This section right here, the roof decor. We are going to go in with all of these pieces, starting with these dormer windows from Discover University. There is no such thing as too much today. The more details, the better. Okay, that's starting to look super magical. Next, let's go in with these like pointy pieces from the vampires pack. We'll put them on all of the corners here. It's definitely one of those things where in the moment it feels like too much and too extra, but once it's all done, I think it will look amazing. Also grabbing these longer pieces from the Strangerville pack. The past few builds I've done have really made me realize that Strangerville is low key, like a really good pack for builders. I mean, I always knew it was a good pack, but I feel like maybe I just didn't appreciate it until now, especially now that I'm branching out into doing different build styles and tackling different aesthetics in different worlds. But what do you guys think of the Strangerville pack? Like personally, I don't really care for the gameplay, but the build items have really been catching my attention lately. I will say that one issue I have with these roof pieces is they don't always seem to snap properly. So I'm always having to like manually raise them up with my nine key, which I feel like is a valid complaint like that's kind of annoying right <laughs> and here's what the build looks like with all of the roof decor pieces i'm gonna use 
replace the castle estate bricks and go in with this dark brown swatch. As you can see, the colors kind of ombre into each other, so I'm gonna use all three shades. It's crazy how much the exterior colors can like change the entire vibe of the build. Like had we gone for something white or light, it would have been really like whimsical and fairy-like, but then this darker color gives it more of a historic vibe. For the windows, let's use more of the castle estate kit. This particular swatch is super pretty because it has like the yellow and red stained glass. Okay, now the door I think is actually really important because this will be the differentiating factor between a normal castle and a magical castle. A normal castle would probably have this like traditional castle door from the castle estate kit, but we're going for a magical castle, therefore we should go with something whimsical from the Realm of Magic pack. Okay, now I almost forgot to add these columns from the castle estate kit, so I'm just gonna quickly raise these up and place them on all of the corners. Oh yeah, that's looking really good, you guys. Not me being like literally shocked every time I build and I'm surprised that I actually like it. <laughs> now before we move on to the interior, I'm just gonna go in with some finishing touches on the exterior, do some landscaping, add some porch stairs, and all that and I will be right back. Wait a second, is this door from Realm of Magic actually better for a front door? Like, does this look more intense? Let's maybe keep that for now. And here's our basic landscaping all done. I also went in with these curved Realm of Magic floor tiles, which I think are very pretty. And then around the back, I just repeated a similar style with the same trees and also made this large courtyard for activities. And now I think it would be a good time to go in with some of the new items from the Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. As you can see, this is like the first time I'm seeing all of these items. So this video is also gonna be kind of like a first impressions on my part. And we should definitely include one of these mystical moonlight crystal grids outside here. Oh, and it seems like once I place this item, this help notification came up, and it says that jewelry and gemstones hold mysterious powers from the crystals that were made to craft them. To unlock these powers, you need to charge your creations on your new crystal grid. Some of the powers that you can get from the crystals and gemstones are super OP. Obviously, there are some that like instantly increase your mood lit, but there are also some that decrease your needs over time, and even one that prevents death. And I'm pretty sure there's also one that decreases the likelihood that you'll start a fire when you're cooking, which is absolutely hilarious, but also super useful. Like the Sims team is just trolling us at this point. They're like, yeah, we totally understand that fires happen way too often in the Sims and it's completely unnecessary, but let's have a gemstone that will fix that for you. <laughs> but anyways, we need to include a couple of these outside because the gemstones do need moonlight in order to be charged. So it says here, you can place up to seven gemstones or jewelry pieces on this crystal grid that is outdoors between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. to charge them and unlock their hidden powers. And let's add some of these debug crystals from Realm of Magic just so we can really solidify that crystal aesthetic. Here's our crystal courtyard charging station all done. I also found these like glowy lights from debug in the Realm of Magic section and put them underneath the bushes here just so at nighttime it looks extra cool. There's definitely no mistaking that this is a magic school at this point. In fact, maybe spellcasters come to this school specifically to study gemology, which is the new skill that comes with the Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. Hold on, wait, I think I just thought of a really good idea. Do you guys see the vision as well? I'm gonna grab this rug from the Realm of Magic Pack and place it down in our charging station. Then I can perfectly place these crystal chargers on these little circle pieces on the rug. There is no way you can tell me this wasn't like literally made for this. <laughs> Okay, I am so happy with that. That's actually perfect. Now I also wanted to include this classically cool sales table from the new stuff pack. It's basically just your typical sales table, similar to the one in the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack or even the City Living pack. I guess the idea is once you've made your jewelry, you can kind of start a business and sell it to people on the street. And here I've just made like a little undercover awning area for their stand. Perhaps I'll actually face it outward like so, so the customers can come visit the store from the outside. And I just use this pretty glass roof swatch from the base game to make this. Let's also grab this huge fountain from the Realm of Magic pack and put it right here in our front courtyard. I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty expensive magic school to attend. And there you have it. Here's the exterior all done for our magical spellcasters boarding school for Sims who want to specialize in gemology. I feel like I say this every time, but I have literally never built anything like this before. And I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of obsessed. I absolutely 
absolutely love the castle vibe we went with, so hopefully this is what you guys were expecting. And I think I did a good job at making it look more magical, like it doesn't look like your typical like medieval castle by any means. But please let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. I really hope you guys like it, especially this back section with the courtyard area. But with that being said, let's get started on our interior. Okay, for our floor plan, one of the main features I wanted to focus on was the stairs. And I specifically remember one or two comments asking for a spiral staircase or at least like a fake spiral staircase. We have our basic U shape like so, but if I were to try and curve it one more time, we would get this error message that the modular stair can't intersect itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this arrow up like so, just so that this piece can extend out a little bit more. And now there's enough clearance here for it to curve into itself one more time. So obviously this isn't a true like rounded spiral staircase, but this is as spirally as it's gonna get with the current game. So I hope you guys like this. And the best part is it fits perfectly into this three by three nook over here. Okay, this is the floor plan I've decided on. So for the bottom level, this will be our cafeteria and kitchen area. Think of it as like the formal dining hall. Over here on the left side, this will be like the student's lounge slash study. We'll put some desks and maybe some couches and a fireplace, that kind of feel. Back here will be our downstairs bathroom and that's it for the first floor. So we have one room here with an ensuite bathroom and then the same floor plan mirrored on the right side. And we will have room for some activities in the corridors here. Moving up to our top floor, we just have two additional rooms here with ensuite bathrooms. And oh, we also have this like secret tower room, which I'm not sure yet what I wanna do with this. So there's four units in total here that you can rent out. I think I'm gonna make some of them single rooms and some of them double rooms, but I'm pretty happy with this floor plan. Let me know what you guys think of it and let's get started on the common areas. Let's start with the cafeteria first. So you guys probably know the drill by now, but I'm gonna go in with this cafeteria station from the high school years pack. But for the sake of flexibility, I'm also gonna include a normal communal kitchen with like a stove and a fridge. Just trying to give you guys as much options for your gameplay. And I am using the Realm of Magic kitchen set here. And I'll alt place this cafeteria station so it kind of lines up seamlessly with our kitchen. Let's of course go in with this beautiful glass dining table from the Realm of Magic pack. And I also was hoping I could use some of these high top tables as well. Ooh, okay, wait, is this little nook here just screaming for a cauldron or what? I mean, it just fits so perfectly, you can't really say no. Oh my gosh, and there's actually crystals underneath it too, so it totally fits this school. For dining chairs, let's use these new ones that came in the Crystal Collection Stuff Pack. I'm gonna attempt to use every single item from this new pack in this build. And then grab these whimsical Realm of Magic bar stools for our high top table. Also adding these midnight oil lamps from the new stuff pack to all of the tables. Maybe even grabbing this huge chandelier from the Horse Ranch Pack. As a final finishing touch, I'm gonna go in with this disheveled rug from the Get Famous Pack. The red and gold in the rug ties in really nicely with our stained glass windows and also our bar stools. But here is our cafeteria and dining hall space all done. The subtle light that comes through these large stained glass windows is absolutely beautiful. These windows are a standout piece in this room, but I'd say we're off to a good start. So let's go work on the student lounge now. Okay, over in our lounge area, and I know exactly what I want to put on this wall. I want to include this beautiful Realm of Magic fireplace. I barely ever get to use this fireplace in my every day building but it's so pretty the mirror detail is so cool and look there's even more crystals in this fireplace the crystal creation stuff pack and the realm of magic pack were just made for each other we did get these new tufted love seats in the new stuff pack which i'm really excited to try out they come in some really pretty jewel tone colors too especially this green this is like my favorite color right now and of course they also came in all of the neutral colors like beige brown black and white perhaps we can try to use this huge overhead light from realm of magic why is this so big? <laughs> not gonna lie, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. It's like way too big. I'm not down. <laughs> I think this jungle adventure one here is a more appropriate size, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Let's use the new Crystal Creations glass coffee table. And that's actually a pretty nice coffee table. I can see myself using this in more like transitional modern home decor as well. Along this back wall, I want to make like a study area with a bunch of desks. Perhaps swapping out one of these desks for the gem crafting table too. 
Craft custom jewelry and gemstones at your new gemology table with the gemology skill. Discover mysterious powers and decorate your home and body with crystal creations. Okay, so it seems like this is where you will craft all of your jewelry pieces and refine all of your gems. I just placed this new potted plant here in between the desks and this is such a pretty plant and all of the vases are really nice neutral colors. Now I'm just gonna decorate the walls with some of these wall art pieces from the new pack as well as Realm of Magic. This Realm of magic painting is actually perfect because the charging of the gemstones is actually dependent on like the moon phase. I just went in with some jewelry tools from the new pack as well as some cabinets from the realm of magic pack. Now for rug I would absolutely love to use the new one from the pack in here but it's almost just slightly too small and underwhelming. This one from the growing together pack by default is slightly bigger so we don't need to size it up or down. This one right here has a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, a little bit of cream. Could this be like the perfect rug for this room? And let's go ahead and display some of the rare new metals we got in the new pack. So we have silver, gold, and rose gold added with this new stuff pack, and the rarity is common, uncommon, and rare. So if you manage to dig up some rose gold, you better cherish it. I wanted to include a chess table in this student lounge. It just feels like a very spellcaster core thing to do, like play chess in your spare time for fun. <laughs> spellcaster core, whatever that means. I realized I forgot to put a TV in the student lounge, so I'm putting this tiny little pathetic one in the corner here because that's all we have room for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's better than nothing. In my university apartment, like not my freshman dorm, but like second to fourth year when I lived with my best friend, we didn't have a TV at all. I don't know why, we just like didn't need one. We had laptops and Netflix and YouTube. I feel like a TV is just like not really necessary nowadays. <laughs> okay, I cluttered this up way more than expected, but here is our student lounge and study all done. I am in love with all of the rich jewel tone colors we included here. I think it pairs really nicely with the new stuff pack and its theme. And I can just imagine a bunch of spellcaster students like lounging here, watching some TV while there's maybe someone casually helping each other with their homework or making some jewelry. It just seems like a really fun space to hang out. Next up, let's do this bathroom super quickly. The only new object we can use in the bathroom is this mirror from the new stuff pack. And it is actually a really pretty mirror. I'm especially loving this green swatch. Oh, but this pink on pink could also be a vibe. Not to mention this blue on blue as well. Oh my gosh. Why don't we go with this black and gold? I don't know, just for fun. It's also completely unnecessary that we include a bathtub in this downstairs bathroom because everyone's gonna have their own bathroom upstairs, but I figured we have the space, so why not? It definitely doesn't hurt. Let's just say that. Maybe we can size down one of these new rugs for a bath mat. And that's gonna be it for our downstairs black and gold bathroom. It's pretty simple, but it's still really pretty. So let's go upstairs now. Okay, on to the upstairs. And I have gone ahead and finished the bathrooms already. I basically made them the exact same as the downstairs bathrooms, except for this one, I gave it a pink and gold color scheme, which I think is so pretty. And then on this side, I went for an opposing blue color scheme. And before we work on the dorms themselves, themselves, let's clutter up these corridor spaces. In this middle area here, I want to add another cauldron. There's going to be quite a few spellcasters living here, and I don't want them all to have to share the one downstairs. And this wall right here would be the perfect opportunity to use these two new beautiful bookshelves from the Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. They're technically two separate bookshelves. This one just has this built-in ladder, which is absolutely beautiful. I wish we had this object for our D for Dark Academia build. Mind you, that video came out like almost a year ago, but still. Let's also make sure we use the new wallpaper that comes with the pack. It has this really pretty subtle pattern on it. I feel as though we will definitely be using this wallpaper in the dorm rooms themselves, so we don't have to use it in the common area. This shelf from the new stuff pack is also really pretty. I like how like petite and low key it is. And that's gonna be it for our little colorful library slash cauldron room. Now for this corridor, I was thinking of putting another gemology table. Once again, I've only included one of these downstairs so I don't want them to have to fight over the table. This is also a good time to use more of the dedicated gemology objects like these display cabinets. Ooh, look at how cute this little display case is. It's like an arched window. I really like this one. It's like cute and different. Let's put this jewelry bust on top of the station as well. And this new console table in the hallway here. This table is really pretty. I'm definitely gonna be using this in some of my more modern builds as well. And it has one, two, three, four, five six, seven different neutral wood swatches, which is amazing. Yes, give me more objects like this. <laughs> 
Let's clutter this up with this gemologist field box. Ooh, that's like very detailed, surprisingly. Why am I so taken aback by that? <laughs> and also this pretty pieces display box. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so nice to use in like teen bedrooms and adult bedrooms too. I think the current jewelry display objects we have are more youthful and like teenagery, but this one is more classy and perfect for adults. Oh, and I didn't even check, but there's a ton of swatches with these as well. Thank goodness. <laughs> you guys know that I am unusually critical about the amount of swatches we get with items. Like, I just think it's an absolute waste if you take all this time to make an object and only give it like three to four swatches. So the fact that these ones have 12 is a good sign in my books. By the way, I'm not gonna fill these cabinets up with jewelry just because I'm gonna leave that to you and your gameplay, but I am gonna try and give you as much storage as possible and just put like a bunch of display cases everywhere. I am anticipating that you guys are gonna be making a ton of jewelry, so you guys, you guys better fill these up, okay? This is a very prestigious jewelry school, okay? You better not let me down. And lastly, as a finishing touch, I'm gonna go in with this werewolf's rug. Not only are the patterns really pretty, but the color swatches are actually surprisingly diverse. And here is our gemology slash jewelry workshop all done. I'm really glad we were able to fit in a dedicated space for this new skill. And it was a good way to showcase all of the items from the new pack. And if you ask me, it looks really pretty. Okay, time to work on the dorm rooms and this is actually quite a bit of space so I'm thinking of making this a double room and putting two single beds. We didn't get any bedroom furniture in the new stuff pack so I am going to go in with the single beds from the room of magic pack. I'm kind of liking this green color. Maybe we can change the wallpaper to match. We could also try and make this purple work since I know there is a purple wallpaper as well. The purple might blend in with our pink themed bathroom a little bit so why don't we run with this for a while and let's give each each of them their own crystal creations rug. I want to add a room divider to give them some privacy and my eyes immediately go to these random curtains from the city living expansion pack. I truly never understood what these were for. Like I understand it's just a curtain on a chain, but like what, what is the inspo behind this? Like I've never seen anything like this in real life. Let's make sure we include a desk here. This one is the realm of magic one and also placing down these trunks from the werewolves pack for our dresser. Let's give them a jewelry box from the new stuff pack, a plan by the door as well. And we'll finish off the room with some clutter from the Realm of Magic debug section, such as these broomsticks and magic wands. And of course, no college dorm room is complete without a beanbag chair. Okay, I'm really struggling because I really like to keep my flooring consistent throughout the entire build. And we use this gray wood downstairs, but I'm really seriously considering changing this top floor to a warm toned wood. I don't know why I struggled to mismatch things so much, to be honest, but it seriously really bothers me. The brown floors clearly look so much better up here, but that does mean I'm gonna have to commit to it over the entire floor which honestly isn't really a bad thing. It kind of looks better on all the floors anyways. <laughs> okay, I feel a lot better about that, but here is our first dorm room all done. I absolutely love the color scheme here, and I feel like this room would be perfect for freshmen, like first year students at this magic school. I just feel like having a roommate is like quintessential for your freshman experience, which does mean that the rooms up here are gonna be for the upperclassmen, and these are gonna be single rooms. Let's grab this beautiful canopy bed from the Realm of Magic pack. And why don't we try going for like a red and black color scheme? I often do red color schemes for my vampires builds, but never for my spellcasters. Let's try out these new crystal creations end tables. I like how they're on wheels, so they kind of look like a workbench. And we must use these crystal end table lamps from Realm of Magic as well. Okay, I just changed up the orientation a little bit so we could fit all of our essentials, but I changed the end tables to black, added this Realm of Magic black dresser and then this crystal creations desk with this matching base game armchair they go so well together now for the rug let's go all in and grab a red swatch as well and for our mirror i found a perfect one it's a crescent moon and it has crystals on it and it's from the werewolves pack for broomstick let's give them one of these really expensive ones because this spellcaster is seasoned okay they're an upperclassman they are very experienced okay i just realized i forgot a mini fridge and that is absolutely a essential for a dorm room of any kind. So I'm gonna grab this one from Discover University. Maybe these wood toned ones would actually blend in a little bit better. And since there's room, we might as well add a microwave while we're here. 
And here's our red and black themed upperclassmen spellcaster dorm all done. I think this room definitely has a more mature vibe versus the downstairs room. And I think it's kind of funny that this room is directly on top of the freshman dorm. Like I can imagine the younger spellcasters making a huge ruckus in the middle of the night. And then this person is like, what's going on down there? What's all the ruckus about? I'm trying to get some sleep. Moving on to our second freshman dorm on this side, I thought it would be fun to make this one for roommates who are opposites. I'm picturing like a delicate, gentle, fairy spellcaster gets paired up with like an emo vampire, and they have no choice but to figure out a way to exist harmoniously in this dorm room. We can even go as far as like splitting the wall color down the middle. This cream texture, by the way, is so pretty. I think it would be really nice for kids' bedrooms. And we'll use the dark black swatch on this side. And and then we'll basically just make everything opposite. So I'll try to use opposing packs on either side as well. Let's put the vampire's dining table on this side for their desk and this ultra elegant one from the Vintage Glamour pack for our spellcaster. Let's pair it with this season's dining chair. It's kind of giving like whimsical fairy vibes, if you know what I mean. And the vampire side will get this more ornate chair from the For Rent pack. I had to readjust the floor plan like so, just so I could fit everything properly. This middle section will have to be a neutral third party, so I'm thinking perhaps something brown like this get-together wardrobe. This is the one item they need to play nice with because, you know, they have to share it. Maybe I'll give them a bunch of jewelry and that's like the one thing they bond over. Like they really didn't like each other at first but then they started sharing jewelry and that's how they became friends. For the rug let's try and make use of this one from the vampires pack. Okay wait this swatch from the vampires pack actually works perfectly for our spellcaster side and then this one from the realm of magic pack works perfectly on our vampire side. Maybe they like gifted each other these rugs or something. <laughs> let's go in with this city living divider right down the center here. I feel like this is a happy medium because it has some light colors and some dark colors. And I'll just go in with some Realm of Magic clutter and I'll be right back. And here's the space all cluttered up. On the vampire side, I went in with some decorations from the vampires pack as well as just some base game decorations. On this side, I also went in with some base game posters as well as this hanging plant from the paranormal pack and these Realm of Magic herbs and spices. I thought it added a nice subtle pop of color. And here's our opposite roommate's freshman dorm all done. I think this concept is so cute and surprisingly the layout is actually really functional. I also think that having the contrasting color schemes helps each side to stand out more. Having them right next to each other really makes them pop. Okay before we move on to our final dorm room I realize we have to do something with this secret tower. This could very easily be a skill building room. You can put gym equipment, an art studio, another gemology table if you want. But for the sake of our storyline and because we've kind of dabbled in the idea of introducing vampires into this build, I thought it would be kind of interesting if the headmaster of this school was actually a vampire. Maybe nobody really knows that the headmaster is a vampire and it's not quite public info yet, but there are definitely some conspiracy theories going around. They spend the day teaching magic and then they sneak away to this tall tower to go to bed. <laughs> but obviously feel free to transform this space into whatever you need it to be. Here's the final one bedroom all done. I went for an icy blue and white theme. I incorporated some items from the vintage glamour pack like this bed these curtains and this desk chair and then i also added some leafy touches these are from the blooming rooms kit well, you guys, that's going to be it for our Realm of Magic boarding school featuring the new Crystal Creation stuff pack. I'm really proud of this build, especially the exterior. I have never done anything like this before. And even the interior too. Like who knew I could do a full like magical occult mansion basically. Like maybe one room would be good for me, but I did the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for always suggesting such amazing ideas that really pushed me out of my comfort zone. And I've been having so much fun trying out new styles and bringing all of your your ideas to life. Please, please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more from this series. And comment down below what you guys think of the new Crystal Creation stuff pack. I tried really hard to showcase this pack as best as possible, so I hope this video helped you in some way decide whether or not you want to spend your money on this pack. And if you do decide to purchase this pack, don't forget to use code Dr. Ashley at checkout on thesims.com or on the EA app, and 5% of your purchase will go towards supporting me and my channel. I can't wait to see you guys next week, and as usual, I hope you guys all have a very, very, very above average day. Love you!